Hello, John Zimmerman with GEDMathLessons.com, and I want to answer some questions I've been getting about uh, the 2014 GED uh, versus a couple new exams that are out there. One is called the High Set, and the other one is uh, the TASC, T-A-S-C. So uh, this is just good general information if you are looking to get your um, high school equivalency, you know, your diploma. These are definitely some. Um, test and some information that you're going to want to be aware of because depending on what state you're in this can certainly affect you so let's just kind of quickly uh, review 2014 um, obviously a lot of things are going on in 2014 with respect to a lot of these uh, exams so the high set and the task exams are really been created um, kind of as a result of what happened in 2014 with the GED now uh, in uh, 2014, the GED um, was updated, and the test has been around, I think, about 60 years or so. So every 10, 15 years, they update uh, the exam. But I think 2014 has been pretty, uh, pretty significant update because um, the test has become more comprehensive. Okay, now some people think it's it's harder. Um, really, what's happening is uh, the exam was updated to re to reflect kind of like the current skills needed for jobs okay so like if you look at high school you know um, uh, what their uh, high school curriculums you know there's trying to um, you know ed education in general is trying to go to more towards the emphasis towards towards uh, stem education s-t-e-m which is science technology engineering and math why well you know you can see what's just going on in our, our, our economy and the trends is um, jobs uh, job skills are are becoming less labor intensive um, and more technical you know skills based so with that you know um, the GED pretty much needed to go through a big update to reflect uh, you know um, the education that you know a high school graduate would be expected to have so a lot of changes going on and I personally think um, uh, they're good changes, okay? Because maybe a few years ago you could prepare for the GED, but maybe that wasn't enough. You could pass the GED, for example, but maybe that wasn't enough to kind of get you ready for college. Where now, um, let's just talk about the math requirements uh, for the new GED. I mean, it's I've looked at them pretty extensively, and it's like taking an Algebra one course. Okay, so if you think back in high school, an Algebra 1 course would take you a full year. And as a math teacher, um, looking at the requirements they have on, uh, for the test, <clears throat> they're, pretty, they're pretty significant. So it's a good thing because I think for you to prepare for the new GED is really preparing uh, you for uh, the additional education that hopefully you're going to take, i.e. college or technical training, etc. So... Um, so in that respect, you know, it is definitely more comprehensive. And then there's a other couple big changes. Um, one is cost. Okay, I think it's $120. Now, it's more expensive to take the test versus um, uh, last year's exam, previous exam. And it's computer-based. <clears throat> So it's all done on a computer. So a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of changes. You know, you're taking, uh, instead of taking it with a pencil paper, you're taking it uh, on a computer. It's more expensive, more comprehensive. So in light of this, uh, these new changes, uh, there's been, um, you know, some pressure put on states uh, to deal with the cost. Because anytime you ch do something as significant as changing the, the GED, and just for your general knowledge, uh, uh, this statistic's a couple years old, but it's like around 700,000. I'm sure it's more now. People every year take the GED, and unfortunately, with uh, the high school dropout rate where it's at and where it's going, it's probably going to be even more people. So, you know, it's a, it's a definite cost issue for states. So states are. You know, trying to deal, absorb, you know, the new cost to change out the test, administer it, etc. You know, if it's computer based, now you need computers, um, you know, at testing centers. So, long story short, um, to kind of deal with this cost, some states are, are using other exams that are cheaper to take. So, one is called the high set, and the uh, other one is called the task. So, let's talk about the high set here. The high set, um, basically, it is a, a high school equivalency, okay, a very similar in, in, uh, in, uh, as the GED as far as its purpose goes. But 
it's cheaper to take. I want to say this test here is around $50 or so to take. Uh, you have to check me on this because this test is only available. It's an alternative to the GD. It's only available right now and as the time of this video in certain states. So if you're in Iowa, Louisiana, Maine, Missouri, Montana, Nevada, New Hampshire, New Jersey, Tennessee, or Wyoming, those states currently have, a, have uh, adopted um, the high set as an alternative to the GED. So you can always still, you know, take the GED. However, now you could also um, you could also take the high set as an alternative as well. So you have to take a look and see which, um, you know, uh, definitely uh, from a cost issue, one is uh, cheaper. But I believe the high set is also computer based. Okay, and you just kind of Google high set and you'll come up with. Um, you know, get their website, and uh, you'll you know, you'll learn uh, the details, and then just contact your state officials and see if you you know want to take that exam. But here's the thing that I want to stress is, it's uh, you know the exam is still going to be testing you in these core areas. So for the high set, you're still going to be tested in language arts, reading, language arts, writing, math, science, social studies. So you're not really kind of escaping. Uh, it's not an easier test per se. I mean, there might be some. Uh, students or test takers that find one easier than the other but but essentially you're going to be covering those same core skills and with respect to math okay um, you know you're going to probably have to prepare in a very similar manner okay because all these tests are becoming much more comprehensive now let's take a look at this uh, last test uh, the task now this test here T-A-S-C, that stands for Testing, Assessing, Secondary Completion. And once again, um, it is a high school equivalency type of uh, test. All right, so another alternative to uh, the GED and uh, certain states are adopting this. So you can, the one thing with the task, I believe, you can either uh, take this like with pencil pencil and paper or computer based so it's um, flexible and I have to say both of these tests the high set and the task you know they do provide you know additional flexibility that's a, one of their um, kind of selling points if you will and it's cheaper I want to say the task uh, let's see here is I think it's fifty two dollars to take this test so you know you're you're, you're talking a pretty significant uh, discount so you can take this one on computer or pencil and paper but once again you know you're going to be testing on uh, those core skills, same core math skills. So um, in terms of math, all right, uh, you're going to have to, uh, you know, really just you're going to have to get yourself to have more comprehensive preparation. One thing I, I didn't um, mention about the task, I'm going to mention it now, is that there's an emphasis on the common core. And if you've been watching the news or maybe you've heard about this, especially if you have children in school is the common core okay so it's common core standards and basically education is significantly changing where uh, basically you know curriculum is going to to uh, what we call depth of knowledge okay it's going to become more comprehensive more um, you know rigorous uh, just because you, where you see the state of um, the United States is at compared to other countries as far as our you know we're kind of behind in some math and science and everything else so you know uh, Department of Education a lot of other folks are increasing the standards okay making things more comprehensive and changing the curriculum so it re there really are a lot of changes so where does this leave you? Okay, so if you're out there and, you know, you don't have your high school diploma and you're like, you know, I, you, you do need to get past one of these exams. I strongly believe that. Even if you're in a career field that you say, well, I don't, I don't need it, you know, uh, uh, for what I'm doing, that's the exception, okay? And if you happen to lose your job that you're currently in, you might find that, you know, you do need to have one of these tests uh, just to qualify for, for a lot of jobs. So bottom line is I encourage you to to um, to pass and get your high school equivalency, high school, uh, you know, plumb and your GED, one of these things into your uh, into your record and to kind of build your education from there. But my point is this. 
uh, math has always been the number one uh, subject area for that, that most students struggle with, especially now. If you're looking at kind of like algebra one course, that's I'm, I'm a math teacher. I've been doing this for many, many years. I can tell you that <laughs> you have to invest a pretty good amount of time to learn and master these skills and concepts. So you need help. So for me, I want to go ahead and just tell you about GEDMathLessons.com. It's a totally free math course, okay, video-based. Um, it's done by myself. Uh, very comprehensive. Um, and if you just go to the website, you can kind of sign up and you can kind of just get going. You get a free set of notes. And uh, the site kind of just walks you through. Um, it probably takes, I think it's about 16 weeks or so to do it. So, you know, people are, of course, saying, well, I don't have the time to to you know I don't have 16 weeks to prepare for this test well listen you know just think about high school you know high school is four years you know and you gotta have to make an investment someplace and so I would strongly encourage you to say just kinda you know adjust your philosophy and say listen I'm, I'm gonna get I'm gonna do it right you know I'm gonna learn math I'm gonna study for this because it's an investment in your education it's a foundation to the education that you're gonna want to build on top of um, you know uh, these exams okay this is just the beginning okay you'll have vocational training or or uh, uh, college etc so anyways hopefully this um, you know, video cleared up some questions on on uh, these exams. I, it's exci an exciting uh, time, I think. You know, if you're a person out there, you don't have your high school diploma, you have some options. So take a look at these two tests here, the high set and the task for those particular states. See if your state is offering that as an alternative. You'll definitely save money and, you know, kind of look at the details of how to prepare. But when it comes to math, if you really want to have a strong, uh, you know, kind of course experience and really master um, basically a core algebra one course come on over to uh, gedmathlessons.com i would love to have you as my student so um have a great day and i wish you all the best